Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. My name is Hussein, also known as System Exploited, and in today's video, we're gonna be rooting Kenobi Machine from TryHackMe. So basically, this is a Linux machine uh, that is similar to the OSCP exam machine. So if you're doing the OSCP exam, this is a good practice for you. So I already scanned it before and I saved it into a txt file. So this is the in-map scan that we got. We got multiple open ports. So the first port that we got is FTP, then SSH, uh, FTP with the Pro FTPD version 1.3.5. This will come in handy in a few. And we got port 80, port 111. This is well, uh, this will come in handy too. Port 139, 143, 445, SMB shares, and multiple other ports. Let's go back to the m machine in here. So scan the machine with nmap. How many ports are open? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 7 ports. So basically 7 ports are open. Let's move on to task 2. Now we're gonna enumerate SMB shares. So basically, uh, it, it will tell you how uh, you can en en enumerate these SMB shares, but I'm gonna simply do use the SMB client minus L, one, two, three, four, and our variable one, two, and let's enumerate them shares. And press enter, let's see, because we don't have a password right now. As you can see, we have three share names. So uh, we got anonymous login. Uh, the print and IPC. Um, so let's try to see what's inside the anonymous one. So what we can do is clear SMB client and one, two, three, four, our IP address in here. Anonymous. Let's view the anonymous share. Basically, the anonymous share will have some interesting stuff for us. So let's just wait for it until it finish. All right, guys. As you can see, got into the anonymous share. So now if we do dir as you can see, we got a log.txt file. So let's download it on our machine by using the get command uh, log.txt. All right, we have got it. So now what we can do is exit, clear, and cat the log.txt file. All right, so let's analyze it together. If we actually scroll up, it's a log file for pro FTPD service, the, for the FTP server basically. Hmm, as you can see, it seems like it generated an um, SSH keys that are located in home for user Kenobi. Alright, cool, cool. And let's see what we can find that is actually interesting to us. Anonymous login, the path for it is home, Kenobi, and share. So what we could do is see if we can mount any directories. So... Let's clear this out. So now what uh, we can, you can answer. So once you're connected, list the files. As you can see, we connected to the SMB client. We got a log.txt file. Uh, there's another method of downloading the file by using SMB get. What port is FTP running on? We already know that, port 22. All right, so now we're gonna enumerate uh, the RPC uh, bind service. So now we're gonna use an nmap, uh, the nmap scripting engine. Uh, let me just copy this command for us. So basically, now we're gonna see the available files to mount. All right, so I'm just gonna paste it right here. And, and I'm just gonna change the IP address a little bit in here. Just specify the IP address, IP, and I'm just gonna add a, an extra argument in here, which is minus PN. And press enter. Let's see. Let's just wait for it to finish. As you can see, we can mount the var directory. Let's go to task three. All right. So uh, here it's talking about pro FTP, uh, FTPD, uh, the server. It's talking about it. So what version is it? We already know that from our in-map scan. It's version 1.3.5. And now we're going to use search exploit and search it up. Uh, 1.3.5. Let's see what we get. All right, so basically search exploit is the command line tool for uh, exploit DB. As you can see, we got um, three exploits. So we're interested actually in, in this one, the mod copy exploit. So this allows us to copy things. All right, so how many exploits are there for the pro FTP, uh, FTPD uh, running? We got, we got three exploits found. And 
we, uh, like I said, we're interested into uh, in the mod copy module. So basically, the mod copy module implements site CPFR and site CPTO uh, commands. Now what I'm gonna do is clear. We're gonna exploit the pro FTPD mod copy module. So the mod copy module uh, allows us to uh, copy things. All right. So now the first thing uh, that we need to do is connect to the FTP server. I'm gonna use netcat to connect to it and 21 so now I'm, well, I'm gonna use the uh, site oh it's capitalized site cpfr from home kenobi dot sh underscore rsa so now we're copying the uh, id rsa keys um and we're gonna copy them to the um var the directory that we can uh, mount id underscore rsa uh, you'll be asking yourself how did we know that uh, we knew it by analyzing the log.txt file we we found in the exposed samba share now what we could do is Control c and let's go on all right so now we're gonna make a dir a directory so make dir uh, let's call it i'm gonna call it kenobi um i'm gonna call it anything kenobi nfs um all right uh, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is now is mount the var and root desktop. Try hack me, Kenobi. So now let's mount it. Press enter. So now if we cd into the directory that we have created, um, and if we do ls, as you can see, we have downloaded everything right now. So if we cd to temp directory. So now if we do a list, all right guys, as you can see, we have found the IDRSA key that we got from the uh, the mod copy exploit. Now we're gonna use this IDRSA key to get uh, in through the HSH service as the Kenobi user. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is the following. I'm gonna uh, copy, uh, I'm gonna CP IDRSA to my directory, which is root slash desktop, try hack me and kenobi all right we're copying the idrsa so now if we do ls as you can see this is the idrsa file so now let's change the mod id and score rsa press enter and now we can ssh into it so ssh kenobi at do dollar sign minus i idr save we press enter all right as you can see guys we are we are logged in as kenobi so now if we do ls press enter for some reason it's kind of slow when typing the commands so now if we do cat user dot txt press enter and this is our user flag so if you submit it in here we have successfully got into the machine so now we're gonna privilege escalate with path variable manipulation so basically here it explains what path variable manipulation is what suid is it's it's gid and sticky bits are all right so now we're gonna use this command to search for uh, the to search for the system with these type of files so let's press let's paste this command in all right so this right here this file right here is kind of sketchy because these files are normal uh, how did i know that it's sketchy through experience uh, you can run this command in, on your own system and compare the results and you'll find that this file is sketchy so so let's before doing anything else what file looks particularly out of the ordinary user bin menu uh, so now let's run it and oh as you can see this is a binary so let's for example check the kernel version Press enter. Oh, we got our kernel version. All right, cool. So how many options appear? So we got three options, the fconfig, kernel version, status check, and so on. Let's clear the terminal. And now we're gonna use a string, uh, the strings command. Most of you should know it. And let's see the strings inside this file. I'm gonna paste. All right. All right, guys. So basically what we could do right now um, we can manipulate the um, uh, the variables because it's running curl without specifying the full path, which is which which might be uh, which is exploitable. So 
All right, so what we can do right now is um, we can manipulate the path to gain a root shell. So what we can do is cop, co uh, make make a shell, echo, um, bin, sh, and we're going to make a binary called curl, and we press enter. All right, so now I'm going to change the mode of it, 777. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is make it as an executable. All right, so now what I'm going to do is export path equals T TMP and variable path. And we can press enter. All right, so now let's run the executable. Now what is left is run the executable if we press enter it should run and if you choose the first option which is a scroll press enter as you can see we are root so who am i press enter so, as you can see we are root so now if we do cat and we'll get the root flag it should appear as you can see this is the root flag i really hope you guys enjoyed this room I hope I can see you guys in into the next video. It's been Hussein and I'm out guys. Peace.